Hey beauties, welcome to our circle. Today is all about shea. That beautiful shea butter that is literally one of the best things that you can use on your skin. And I am going to give you a very valuable application tip with shea butter. It is the proper way to apply, at least in my and my skin's opinion. When applying it this way, you will see some really lovely results. It will maximize the moisture in your face. It will smooth out any dryness or flakiness and give you a really beautiful finish. So let's get straight to it. <laughs> The first thing that you want to do is put your hair up. You can either put it in a messy bun, you can put it up in your scarf. I wouldn't recommend a pineapple because if you have longer hair and you pineapple and it kind of hangs to the side, you're not able to fully applique your face. Because I've been experimenting with not using hair band, bobble, hair tie, whatever you want to call it, I solely use chopsticks currently and they've been working fantastic. Then of course you want to take all your makeup off. Brilliant tip, it can save you money, is to use coconut oil and it's quite good for your face as well. If you tend to break out more from something that is oil based, I recommend using the coconut oil just for your lips and for any eye makeup that you have. And for the rest of it, just wet a reusable cotton pad or if you don't have reusable, just a regular one, just to get any other makeup that you might have on your face. So shea butter, like many of our emollients works really well for hydration and most of us at this point realize that true hydration comes when it's water-based so a brilliant way to really get shea butter to work for us and for our skin and our face is to start with water what I like to do is splash my face with some water and leave the droplets all on there before applying shea or spritzing with water like a water bottle or with rose water. So when my face is super wet and it looks like I've got like sweat beads or something on there, I let that sit 20 seconds, something like that, and then I go ahead with my shea. actually very recently got a chemical pill for something called seboric keratosis which I'm totally going to do a video about because if any of you are suffering with the same thing that I was there is a remedy to sort it but anyway the pill burned the SK off of my face and my skin is healing so you can see I have there on my neck kind of where one of them came off and then on the sides of my face and that meant that I couldn't put you know anything Thing on them at the time of them healing but a brilliant thing about shea butter is you can really use it to look after your skin for the sides I was using vitamin E oil but now because they are quite healed I can go back in and really work to moisturize my face and shea butter is the perfect perfect thing to do that even though my daily routine consists of using Walita skin food which is amazing shea butter is one of those things that I always feel safe putting on my face. It is so moisturizing, it's so pure, and it really never ever once gives my skin trouble. And applying it with water first helps it to really sink in and it maximizes the moisture level like you wouldn't believe. Chill days and days where I'm not wearing any makeup is vital to put shea butter on my face and I always do it this way. And it's perfect. A lot of people ask me, oh, isn't it so greasy? Can you leave the house like that? Do you wash it off in the morning? No, for most skin types, shea butter will actually go deep in and you don't have to worry about rinsing it off. It can be left on your face. If you have more of oily skin, you don't 
want to enhance that oil so a good thing to do is really rub in and you can even blot dry before you go off or the the better thing to do if you have oily skin is to use shea butter at night so when you wake up in the morning your skin is super refreshed and also what a lot of people don't realize is after you put this on if you did want to wear it for the day you can splash your face with water afterwards which might sound counterintuitive but try it and see what it does because for me what happens is it helps it to just finish off so that I don't go out looking greasy I have this dewy nice beautiful complexion thank you shea butter this is after shea butter has been on and just splashed with water when it dries it sets so much better so it doesn't have any kind of greasy feel just a nice moisturized dewy face 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 Another thing to do that goes really, really nicely with shea butter is to roll your skin or massage it with a massage apparatus or a tool. And again, that helps it to just sink into the skin better. And now my face, I'm ready for bed or ready to start the day. Okay, my beautiful people, and there you have it. That's how you can properly apply shea to maximize your moisture levels, to keep your skin flawless, healthy, elastic, youthful. It allows you to do it if you want to wear shea butter during the day or if you just want to use it before you go to sleep. So I hope that this video has incited your shea passions. It's really important to take care of your skin and shea butter is a brilliant way to do so no matter what kind of shea butter you use go ahead and try this and let me know how it has affected your skin and of course do that by commenting below join the circle I will link for you where I get my shea butter but you can kind of get what you like I say just make sure whether you use the ivory or the yellow make sure that it is just pure shea and the least processing the better if you remember nothing else today remember this the the more you take care of your skin, the more beautiful you'll be. Facts. <laughs> okay, divas, I'm loving you loads. As always, treat yourself. Take care of your skin and have a beautiful day. Love ya.